AMT Ertl's 1959 Chevy El Camino 3-in-1 kit. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. My name is Trevor Selescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Well, here we go. Another great unboxing as we look at this 1959 Chevy El Camino 3-in-1 kit by AMT Ertl. Now, let's go down to our bench and crack that lid open. Now let's open up the box on this 1959 Chevy El Camino Custom Street Custom. This is actually a 3-in-1 kit, so you can build it as stock and racing, which is always a bonus. And now let's move this to the side and take a look at our instructions here. Ooh, and look at this nice, cool decal. So we got some pinstriping over here, and then dragster stuff like Blown Ranger, Driver Fearless Freddy, and of course our Clay Smith decals here. These are gasser classes, A gasser and B gasser class, 593 cubic inches, shaker engineering, and some a little poster, and a National Hot Rod Association decal for your car. So we just move those over there now and concentrate our, our instructions. Now this one came out under the round RC2 label back in 2006, but it, the actual kit itself was designed in the 60s. And part of AMT's trophy series. And these instructions are a pretty good reproduction of the original instructions, actually. You get your stock engine with the tri carburetors and the big air cleaner for 1959. Um, yeah, this is not a 427, but it is like a 396 or something in there. It gives you a full optional Cadillac motor as well with a blown injector. So you actually get two motors, the Chevy and the Cadillac. And then it's got a nice separate rear suspension in the back with individual molded springs. And then it's got these great big lake, or header pipes that pop out for your Cadillac custom motor. Fully steerable front end, as well as three location holes, lowered at the very top, stock in the middle, and raised for drag racing at the front to clear those headers off the caddy. You actually get three separate um, wheels, custom wheels, the stock hubcap, and of course open rim wheels, and you get the big drag slicks in the back. Now the interior is a one piece with a simple dashboard and such. But don't let that let that stop you from enjoying this kit. You also get these custom bits and a sun tachometer for your drag racing stuff. Then the body pops together. And like I said, there's one of those mono piece glass sections with the crossbars in. Later AMT more modern AMT kits, they've removed those and had the glass as two separate components. And then of course the cool part at the back. There's your operating tailgate with the stock rear lights and the stock components. You also get a tonneau cover and these bed rail bars as well as hydraulic lifts to show your, your cover up. And a complete custom rear tailgate piece, custom tail lights as well. Uh, inspired by George Barris and Gene Winfield and all those other great custom car designers back in the day and separate grills with the Lucas headlights and custom grill teeth so quite a cool cool model now let's look at the plastic let's we'll start with the interior here for a change notice a nice detail clean and crisp in there on the seat there's only a couple little injection sink marks in there that kind of hurt the overall uh, look at the thing And then we've got our nice body here. I do believe I started to work on this kit a little bit But you can see the opening hood And if you just squeeze the side a little bit, it'll come out and There's the square for cutting in that big blower under your hood nice separately molded in um, front wheel aprons so pretty cool. Hood fits in pretty nice. 
not very many like over exaggerated gaps in there I've had that with a few kits in the past oh here's a tono cover it goes over top of the pickup bed keeps all your stuff in there of course it's done in that tuck and roll pleated pattern which is pretty cool nice crisp detail on it and there's your two different tailgates the one up top here is the stock and the one down below is the custom tailgate and then they have the individually molded pickup bed in the back which fits nicely right there once it's glued in there's no gaps so that's always good and there's our under pan with all the nice crisp details in there with the holes and everything for your posable steering front end spare tires should go in there actually I don't think it was underneath the car but that's how that looks anyway there's our windshield and headlights and another clear plastic piece there not quite sure what that's for I think it's a license plate glass cover there's our chrome which I'm going to keep in the bag you can see a 1959 molded into the license plate shroud and of course there's our stock hubcaps lots of nice chrome pieces in this kit and now we have our engine components and this is for the Chevy as you can see the the valve covers well actually it's for both because there's parts of Cadillac in there too there's that air cleaner for the tri-carbs and then here we have our suspension components the differential this is actually a cross brace mounting point right there to help deal with the torque and there's our wheel covers and separate springs and that console there separate exhaust there's those great big exhaust pipes for the custom and more steering suspension components here's the back of the tailgate so the pegs so that you can open and close it and the nice rib detail there and we have our wheel backs and the top of our radiator as well as these are for those exhaust pipes to align them and we've got our Firestone tires as well as our big drag slicks and then the clear red components in a bag oh I did start to glue an engine block together two of them now it's up to me to figure out which one was the Chevy and which one was the Caddy I do believe this is a Cadillac though just from that uh, that transmission okay here's our dashboard nice a very nice uh, futuristic style gauge clusters there it's funny they designed all these gauge clusters back in the 50s and that to be cool and be like a jet you know because they were very big into uh, jet styling designs and now you jump into something like a Toyota RAV4 or whatever and you see this exact same thing same concept in black plastic you know really uh, really shows you how things come back in style again and there's one of the steering wheels I'm not sure if that's stock or custom I do believe it's stock and the firewall last but not least it's quite a big cutout in the middle there and that concludes our review of the 59 Chevy El Camino by AMT Ertl we here at Monster Hobbies really hope you enjoy this continuing series, especially this unboxing of the 1959 Chevy El Camino kit. And if you would like to see what other model kits we have available on our website, please click down below here, www.monster-hobbies.ca. We're in Canada, but we can ship to the United States, believe it or not. It's only across the border. <laughs> so if you love our channel, and want to invite your friends tell them to like and subscribe right here and click that notification bell where they can check out these other three great videos you can too i'll let you 
And until next time, always remember to throw it in the back of your El Camino.